Hello students, in today's class we are going to talk about how the universe originated. Uh, from the general knowledge book which you have, which is Arihant's general knowledge 2022, we are going to start with this chapter which is chapter uh, world geography, page number 28. So if you go to that chapter you will find the details of how the universe started. I'm going to explain you the what is the recognized theory that we have in the world. Uh, the most recognized theory that we have is that the world started, uh, in fact the universe started as a small, very small, uh, some millimeters large uh, circle of heat, mass and a lot of energy. And then 13.7 years back, okay, it exploded. So this was 13.7 billion years back, it exploded and then over a period of time so, so after some time okay turned to atoms okay and then uh, with the expansion okay with the continuous expansion we finally had the galaxies if we see what is the current size of universe today it is 93 billion light years so 93 billion light years when we calculate it uh, in kilometers or miles okay you will get one light year is equal to six trillion miles one light year is equal to six trillion miles and if we turn that into kilometers so one light year is equal to 9.7 trillion kilometers so in trillion there are 12 zeros just for your information there are 12 zeros and if we compare it what is the size of earth so if we take the diameter is around less than 13,000 kilometers so that is the diameter of earth and when we compare that to the size of the universe that we are living in, it is 9.7 trillion kilometers. So that is the difference between um, Earth and the universe, exactly how smaller a area that we cover in terms of size. Now when we talk about light year, okay, so light year is another measure that we have, it's a measurement criteria. But a lot of people think that it is a measurement criteria for time. No, it is not a measurement criteria for time, it is a measurement criteria for distance. So, the one light year, when we talk about it's not time, okay, it's the distance. Okay, so one light year is equal to 9.7 trillion kilometers, so that is the distance. Okay, so that is the size of the universe and it is continuously expanding. So, it is not stopping right now, it is continuously expanding so the universe is still getting large as we talk about okay now talking about how large it is okay and how small we are okay so in one universe okay the one universe that we have there are hundred billion galaxies so that's one thing there's in one universe there are hundred billion galaxies and in every galaxy in every galaxy there are hundred billion stars on an average okay one star is sun okay so we are talking about hundred billion stars in one galaxy and there are hundreds of galaxies so just imagine how huge the universe is our galaxy's name is milky way we also call it akash ganga the size of milky way is 52,850 light years so that is the size of uh, milky way and uh, it has 100 to 400 billion stars okay so 100 to 400 billion stars are there in milky way so that is the size of milky way and um, one star out of this 100 to 400 billion stars which are there in milky way one star is sun and around the sun there are eight planets right now which is um, revolving around the sun and earth is one of the planets and on one of those planets there is a uh, land mass okay on that land mass okay which we call world okay there is asia in asia there's a country called india in india there is a state called uttar pradesh in uttar pradesh there's a district called ayodhya in ayodhya there's a small house which is your house where you live in that big house and in that big house when you are growing up you are getting bigger but just imagine how different or how what is the difference between you and the universe the size difference how big you are and how big the universe is 
So that is it for today.